Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this origami wreath. It's a modular model. It does use glue to put all the all the modules together. It's nice and full and like a nice healthy wreath. So you need eight pieces of paper. It is a modular project. It's important to make the creases. It makes the the module a lot easier to do. So fold it each way on the diagonal. And then fold one side in to the midpoint like that. And then do it the other way and to make the kite shape. Like that. So you have the kite shape like that. So if you look at the module, the finished product of the module, you'll see that it's symmetrical, but it's also the same on all four sides. So you basically open it up, do the same thing on the left side, do the same thing on the top, and do the same thing on the bottom. So you see I folded it down like this, and I opened it up, and I folded it down like this. And then on the bottom one, they met here. So when I fold the top ones down like this, this edge, this corner over here, meets right where those lines meet. So you have the crease pattern that looks like this. So there's so many creases already. And we're going to make a couple more. So, basically the next crease you're going to make is going to be from this point here to this point here and it's just going to be a straight line. And in order to do that, you kind of start to make instead of making a full rabbit ear fold, you kind of start to make it. So you fold the one one side up like this, the other side up like this. And because we already folded the other folds going this way, you should have a little mountain type tent thing come up like that. So the when I do it, I just pull on it like that a little bit to make sure it's sitting flat. And then I fold the tip of that mountain tent thing to that point right there where those two cross. And then wherever the paper underneath it folds, that's where the crease should be. At the very top of this, you want to make a valley fold right down the middle. And you'll notice when you do that, you can't make it go all the way down. So you make some valley folds wherever that, that um, vertical line stops. That's the top of both of the diagonal folds you're going to make. And the bottom is right at the bottom of the mountain. So you make those two folds there and then you fold this down to the side and down to the other side and I'll show you what it looks like from above. You fold it down so that it's flush with this fold here and like that. Alright, so you want to make all those creases and then unfold it and then do all those creases again on the next side. So I'll show you how it doesn't have to be all that slow. So like that. Make that valley fold. And push it down like that. So now that you made all those creases, you basically want to reform all the creases at the same time. But you'll notice when you put two together, you have all this extra fabric, not fabric, paper, on this side. So you want to tuck it under one of them. And you know when you're closing a box to keep it secure, you keep, you do like the, the top and then the, <laughs> you do like the top and the bottom, and then the next one you keep 
you always keep the right one on top and the left one on the bottom, but you keep rotating it, you're going to do the same thing here. So now, the right one, when the when the point is pointing down, the right one's on top, the left one's on bottom. So now, with this pointing down, like this, reform the folds and the creases, and slip the right one on the bottom, and the left one on top. As you do this, you are making new folds, but it's just exactly where the paper is supposed to lie. Just keep pushing it in like that. And then if you push it down like this, push them all down, then it'll lock itself in and it won't keep coming apart like that. So now if all of them overlap like this, it looks like that, kind of like the top of the dreidel if you made that, that model. But now you want to open them all up. So I like to use a pencil when I do this. So just focus on one of them. You'll see when it's pointing straight up, when you go from the outside of the square, you should see a little pocket. So you want to open up that pocket, that's why I like the pencil, and then squash fold it down like that, and I'll show you from the other perspective. That's it. That's it pointing up. Open up the inside. And squash fold it down like that. One more step is just to fold all of these innermost corners in like that. This will be a pretty thick fold, but you want to do it on both sides like that so that it ends up looking like this. So do them on all four. And that is the finished model. You'll see it looks exactly like that one. So now I've already made eight of them and I've glued six, to, six of them together. And the way I glued it it's like that one overlaps the last one, just like that. So every, every module will be over one and under another one, and that's it. So you'll see, I'll show you with these two here. You'll see right underneath this point pointing out, there's a little flap that you can fit the next one into, like that. And then the next one, so you'll see that this one slid inside of one and this one's over it. And then on this next one, the one that just slid in gets one sliding into that one and you would put it right here, like that. So this slides into this one, and then, and so directly across the point that slides in, just go to the one underneath that and put that in, and then it'll start to get round like this. So now I'm here. Here, this one went into this one, then I go to the, to the point that's across from the point stuck in the next one. And then you take the next one coming up and put it in the one below that. And I did use glue for this. Just a little dot will be fine. Then the last one should slide right in. This dark green one over here, which is the first one I had, there's one already slid into it. So it needs to slide into the, to the last one. So you have to kind of maneuver it and push it in. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with another origami.